get to know your county commissioner. I'm Bianca Hanlon. Westchester is welcoming two new centers that will have a great impact on our community. To share more on this, we caught up with District 10 Commissioner Senator Javier Soto, who will first tell us about the important role the Westchester Library Health and Wellness Information Center will play in our community. Yes, the Westchester Health and Wellness Information Center is a building in itself erected right next to the Westchester Regional Library. Um, as you know, this, this was some money that I found in the old uh, bonds, and uh, I thought that this community didn't have a center for information about diseases, about uh, uh, health, about uh, in general, about uh, nutrition, etc., etc., etc. Because of that, this center, which is not a clinic, it's just an information center, will will have uh, computers, will have uh, uh, means the, uh, to give the people of Miami-Dade County the information that they need to live a better life, improve the quality of life in the whole county, not only in Westchester, but in the whole Miami-Dade County. Senator Soto also explained in more detail what types of services will be provided at the center and when residents will be able to take advantage of all the center has to offer. This building here uh, will have the services of professors from uh, our colleges and universities, doctors, nurses, dentists, and other health specialists that will talk to the people for free conferences. They will also, I imagine, the library will handle this, will uh, handle books, booklets, uh, computers will be here, prepare for the people to obtain information about, about diseases, about their diseases, about diseases that they want to know because of family problems, whatever. They, they are going to have the ability to come here and obtain all these all these information informations to uh, make their quality of life much higher well the building is almost ready as, as you can see uh, mm, we hope that we can inaugurate this building in the last part of November uh, the first part of December no later than the first week in December we want to inaugurate this uh, beautiful building that uh, will uh, uh, try to help with the health situation of the people of Miami-Dade County and again the state and the world because this is a, a unique concept this is something new something different that we have done here for free for the people to obtain all kinds of information about their health and about how to live a better life. In addition to that, Senator Soto is also very proud to bring the Westchester Cultural Arts Center to District 10. He tells us more about the facility's features and the latest update on its progress. Here you're watching this beautiful mural, these mosaics. Uh, it's the design of, uh, I understand, a, a young person who's engaged with our schools. The center is still under construction. Uh, the construction is finished, but they are finishing with the touches about electric electricity, all the internal things about the theater. Um, there's security cameras. The whole area is covered by security cameras. There's also a recharging station for your electric cars. That's one of the few places around here that I know of. And uh, it's state of the art, inside and outside. On the other side of the building, we're going to have a park, a very nice park for concerts in the open space. It's going to be very nice. So this thing is a work of art, really. And it's, it's called the Westchester Cultural Arts Center. It's, it's a center that is here in Westchester, but it's, it's for the people of Miami-Dade County. It's for all of the people of Miami-Dade County. As a matter of fact, you don't have to be uh, from Miami-Dade County or from Westchester to come here. You can come here, you can attend, so on, so on, the, uh, the activities that we're going to have here. We're going to have a, a very, very diverse menu of activities here. So uh, 
I, I hope that you use it and you enjoy it. This was monies that I found in the old budget, the bonds money of many years ago. And uh, here there's probably about $15 million more or less invested of our money, your money, my money, the people's money, the Miami-Dade County people's money on the bonds. And it's, it's here in this building and in this facility. Uh, unique because it's the first cultural arts center in the west southwest part of Miami-Dade County. There's, there was nothing like this before. So this is like a mini performing arts center in downtown Miami. That's what it is. I hope that we all enjoy it. And Senator Soto also shared what this center will mean to young art students and their families, as well as the community as a whole. We are, we're blessed in this part of town, in, in Miami-Dade County, in this part of town called Westchester. We're blessed, this whole area is blessed. And, and, and let me clarify that this is not only for the Westchester people, it's for all the people in Miami-Dade County. It so happens that it's located here in Westchester. But uh, we are blessed in Miami-Dade County and uh, all these areas around here with, with uh, an incredible amount of talent. Uh, boys or girls, uh, uh, young people who are terrific musicians, terrific dancers, singers, etc., uh, and arts people. So we could have art, art classes and paintings and, and, and photography and, and uh, sculpture and, and many things. Of course, dances, uh, music, uh, musicians, singers, all of that. We, we are blessed in our community with this type of activity, and this is exactly for this kind of thing. Our thanks to Senator Soto. As always, we appreciate his time and important updates. That's all for this edition of Get to Know Your County Commissioner. For more information on county programs or services, call 311 or visit MiamiDade.gov. And be sure to connect with us on social media. I'm Bianca Hanlon. Thanks for watching.